Hello, welcome back to Formula 1 2020 Martin the episode 38 and it is the final episode of season 2 and I'm absolutely excited to get this um the uh, this season finale for Abu Dhabi we know the world champion is Lewis Hamilton um, it's, it's, we already know that from the last episode uh, uh oh, spoiler alert, my bad, I should not say that. If I've not watched Live the Battle with it last thing, uh, or the last man to watch it or listen, it was incredible. Uh, but yes, like, nobody time I can in this one, so go back and watch this one before you watch it. But for those who have watched it, so we're gonna be heading over to Abu Dhabi, um, with, with the spectators to make to. Get some points of auto and P9. I'm expected to finish P9 all above in the country last standing. So I'm going to show you um, the um, standing, not the standing. So NAW is double points of three points behind Alpha the Mania. We are also three, four, five, six, seven, four points ahead of William. Um, so obviously, this day is basically. I mean, Alpha Tower is also part of it if you tout it. So, it's Alpha Tower, William, and W, and Alpha Domania. We completed for P8, and we got the Nut Ball, who is 29 points behind Miss Daisy, and Ferrari is. Oh my dad, Matt, my math doesn't work. Ferrari is definitely not in part of the fight, I don't think, but it'll be Nut Ball and Miss Daisy, and. Over to the Slava standing, it's all between uh, not the win, but the reality is it, it Matt, Tarlo, Leclerc, and Sturgeo Pello are going to be fighting for P2, but Hamilton is well it all, and he also his final late of his season before he retire for good. Um, and I'm P3 is tough on point, which I'm really happy about. Porsche is 20 with zero point. But you know, it's fine. He's just started his team, and also the very, very good new we don't need to worry about um, the contract we knew we want. It's you no, know, it's uh, been fixed, and I'm really happy about it. It was the best news I've heard today when I listened to it. So really happy about um, about happy about it. So we're going to be heading over in Abu Dhabi with the spectators to finish in point and try to see if we can overtake after the Mario. Um, so we got some update coming in, which is personal update. Uh, we we didn't I think it's really update for RD because I'm still waiting for the um uh the latter change. Um so I'm i a lot of us wait on that one. Uh to take no message for it. We've got three point nine six million. I mean we can actually buy something, um we can still be able to afford uh deal, but I think to be straight, we should stay for up. Uh, so, just to tell you, they know that I haven't got anything uh, at the moment, so I'm not at all. Uh, nothing at all. This is a bit weird, so I'm hoping we get to see it um, at the end of Abu Dhabi or something. So, what we don't wait to see, so we got the funding, which is good. Uh, that's perfect then. And we got personnel. Um, uh, spec 2, is it, is it spec 2 now? Is it uh, beautiful? It's a new uh, update for uh, Theo. So I don't think no letters and change at all. So maybe it did I know last season, we obviously we finished last at the same time. So I think we did actually get letters and change. So I think we should wait until the end and then I'll put the new update in. It doesn't really hurt if I do that. Uh, over to the shorty um, part but so we got uh, the hat is still um, tinted to the same from I wanted to stay from Japan all the way to now of Austin Martin actually jumps up but the look ball is the head of Austin Martin but not on there it's not um, the midday no, that's not Midday, that's Alpine shot. The Alpine are very close to the look ball. The Midday are twice with Ferrari and McLaren. And then I'm very close with William. Uh, Alpha Romero is tapping up. Alpha Tower is still under. So, I mean, I, uh, I'm happy we are P9. We, P15, P, P, well, I like to do for We can maybe. We like to fight to TP9. 
and hopefully we get more money from the sponsor and everything. So I'm gonna um, head over to some practice in Abu Dhabi. So I was doing you qualifying. I was to finish my uh, practice session done well, um, and now we're going to get to you uh, a qualifying. So I need to get all of this sorted. Um, obviously, in the practice, it, it when um, as I expect it goes. I finished that P12. Uh, obviously, it's slower, but it's obviously the uh, the component I've put down. But uh, I now know stop tower is not even good in Abu Dhabi because it just moved it in like after what two laps. It's already up to like fifty percent in after two laps. So obviously, it's better to do medium to hard to stop tire is better when it comes to like like I did the last thing where. Uh, state with hard time that I put the top tire and then, you know, towards the end, obviously. Um, the last, but I don't actually think we're going to be doing Mercedes and Chase to do no um, news about it. So we should head over to Twilight and uh, hopefully do some Mercedes and Chase after this one. I actually don't think to uh, But that's fine. Uh, it means that. I mean, I stayed up so much so I can put everything into uh, the RD. Basically, at for Abu Dhabi, though not end of the world really. It'd be better if we can do that today than change to change the whole thing. Um, but this that I I actually put down is um, obviously from the website is it did feel good, but I'm gonna choose the fuel down to seven kilo. Um, we gonna pop out in a bit to the little time the eight tired out. Um, I need to check if they started a flying act. How do I know if they started it? Alright, uh, we got everyone at this out and out. So everyone pretty much started already. Uh, you know what, I'm going to pop out now, I think. I'm going to go out to my first one. So I'll see you at the end of the first one. I still have to, uh, got up to P18 and I definitely not even do it. I did feel a little uh, shine in a little corner that I've uh, got myself into, which is quite annoying, but I'm going to put a new one in and I'm going to go out in six minutes and I'm going to try to see if I can improve the time. Uh, I'm going to go out now, so they got too tired out. So I'm going to go out to my statue long, but I still have the end of the statue long. I just did, I just feel like my touch one won uh, a massive jump to P9, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I met that up with touch one won uh, at the first tour, it was, it was quite snow, and then with this touch of two, um, they stuck in the yard right there, they uh, stuck in three to big time, which I'm very happy. So hopefully we can somehow, it, we, I know I'm going to fall down at some point, but I'm assuming hopefully I get to P14. Uh, I'm hope it looks like P30, P14, let's see, uh, where are we, please, 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 we do it, yeah, P12, fantastic, so it'll be heading over to 2-2, but we will have one stop tire available for the 2-2, so what I will do is go out on the, uh, all the tire, uh, this one to the slower, with one older tyre, let's use this to sit and do one run, put a new one at the end, it's same time, six minutes. 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing two, 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 one, two, three, first one. As you finish my uh, first one, we end up being P10, uh, which is, you know, uh, that's a lot faster than the first uh, two one, which is true. So let's see where we're going to end up at the moment. The P14 is where I'm going to end up. Uh, stop, so I'm going to go out now. Um, so we are ahead of the moment, which is way to go there. And we've got new tiers, well, where's the William? Well, it's not really, um, I said that's fine. Since obviously, since it's with Albon, obviously, Albon did a, you know, do absolutely fantastic with William, but uh, it's um, a press door to swap. Um, to the Albon, obviously, the best driver out of Lawson Sarson or Liam Lawton, so I'm going to do my structure one, well, see you at the end of my structure one. Two minutes remaining in the session. We need a good lap here or out of qualifying. Come on. That's a feeling my stuck at one. I did have on board since stuck to one, but I'm really good stuck to two and the well stuck to two with very very slow. Stuck to three and managed to pull up with a really good combat. Um so we are it's time for this so I think we are we are pretty alive and work we so we can drop down the P14 potentially 16 so we are 14 ah oh, beautiful perfect that's good um uh, for the uh, we are better than that McLaren but they took news and then uh most of the other did well we are P14 new teammates is up to uh Alpha Tower up to P6 oh so we're not Alpha Tower it's still a poise they in there, so uh, one, two, four, six, eight point, nine point, so we should be able to for, for the top. Uh, but new thing that really turned it up when we were the uh, last famous, I think this one, but last famous did do well though. Uh, but I'm happy with P14, it's not end of the world for it. Uh, we can still, you know, pull off a challenge and they steal them for now, and they steal them too. But, um,. I want Theo to do but I want Theo to store some points if I need him to store some points. Uh, it's making more like teamwork type of thing. But no, if he doesn't, he doesn't, we can't can play about it. But um, I'm just ready to uh, head over to Abu Dhabi where I'm playing. And it's obviously battle for P8 for Alpha Mario, William, Alpha Tower, and NXW. And then it also battle for and look for the data for P1 and turn slash in standing uh, and let's, let's just set the four tiles there's no lane to that I, I mean they could be a chance for a lane to I remember someone had a lane in Abu Dhabi I don't remember who it was but then so I'm gonna take loads to head over to um, the long point so I think you at the end of the long point It's time then for one final race in this year's Formula One World Championship. 2010 saw four drivers in contention for the title coming into this race, with Sebastian Vettel prevailing to become the youngest world champion to date. Is there one last sting in the tail awaiting us today? Well, it's time to find out here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 16 corners and a lap distance of around 3.28 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places. So plenty of close racing, then plenty of speed and plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole. 
and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Gasly, Ocon, Drogovic, Albon, Hamilton, Magnussen, Norris, the owner driver, Joe, Holkenberg, Bottas, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Sargent, Liam Lawson, Russell, De Vries, Theo Porcher, and Yuki Tsunoda. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. The key now will be to keep in the right mindset. We've seen time and again that things go wrong if you just try and do the minimum. Not necessarily because of the pressure, but because it's different to your usual approach. They'll need to avoid that and stay focused today. We played the particular day to slap on to the final late of the season in Abu Dhabi. And obviously slap to medium to hard. To the, even on the slap to be no they stop medium, medium. Who does that? I mean, it was more of in like a massive, like proper like understood, but we're not doing that. And I don't really like doing stop medium, medium to my heart is not that quick to be okay, able to do it. So I'd rather do medium to hard. So it's to just completely one sure stop and have the opportunity to try and move up to the, the field. Because obviously we start a P11, so it's going to be um, a really good competitivity. And it's also very crucial like, for some slash and standing with uh, Alfred Manuel, NSW, William and Alfred Tauri for Super PA here, and it's Make also sure crucial like, for Mercedes and the Red Bull that they are also very close to each other as well. So it's always been really solid ending to the season at least five late like, like, and it's underwent with the fur on P1 Tenny keep the position for man from Matt Verstappen and Matt Verstappen on the inside as I overtook couple tires dropped the P9 and we obviously don't have a track plot we already also have a tire that tries to dive inside but he uh, pulled out a nice that time which is true and that's it, they committed to it and we got a uh, way to go. So for the meet on the hour side, but I got better racing line and I still, you know, have a little break in those for me and I'll just establish more. But unfortunately those are the slip stream on me and it now does over the moves and don't forget it's on stop tire. So I'm assuming it'll end up doing two stops or something and I need it when the back of Lewis Hamilton but I had to be beautiful overtake on Hamilton when I done it from the outside to the inside to draw to the overtake and we're going to be chasing that for Philippe Lutonvik and Alexander Albon as Albon looks so slow as I don't like the taller and I just went for the move on the inside to get the, done, get the overtake done with um, a bit weird from Albon to run twice slow I wonder why it maybe done a bit too wild or something but it's the same uh, me position at Philippe Lutonvik so I don't know why I went a bit slow. I think already lots one stuck in. I mean, part of the that is because I don't in. I think he must have moved out of the way as well. So over the lap four, it's been the same last, the last three lap. We've been fighting twice in touch up with all the tar of her. And we on board with An Aladdin to Albon and Magnuson. Because they were quite far behind. And Albon spin the tar well. And we've got Lando, Doyle Pat, and most of Joe hit into Albon, got broken wing, and we got off the Piastri, hitting into Jordan Russell, it is broken, he bloody wheel, so he out of the way, and we got lost of a car, did a bunch up behind, and it is going to be a red flag, so it's the third okay, red flag, this, actually, or well, probably okay. before that actually, it's been a long time, I think we had them look flat, so I've been looking through the snap and she's trying to make sure I don't make the mistake today. If you remember, it wasn't Austria, it was obviously it wasn't out an episode on YouTube, but in Austria there was a glitch where you put on, like they put stop tyre, they put into my tyre, but it's not into my tyre that I put down, so at least five minutes in line, and we started on stop tyre, and everybody else had on hard tyre. Did I make a mistake for putting stop tire? I don't know if I did. I we jumped up the P5 and really took star and we 
and also just not me it all bonus flash in two miles of Ferrari and he caused it damage and he's been left flat because Alexander Albon was actually out of a way with a broken wheel so she's off the bat not flat but it's he practically maybe dive too deep or something so he found late light at the restart again until lap 9 and we've done the P3 we are now going to be you know, fighting for the podium which is you know I was in awe when that happened like in which like, I was not supposed to do that just yet it was too early but like you know what I'm going to try to put all out in the lap mode of the season my smile tried to fight for the podium and he went on lot and over to lap 13 uh, we know Pallet and the Claire support away already, it's too easy for them. So it's like, oh, top map. So it's gone already. And we've got an Espanol Ton driver and move on the outside. And obviously, we know Alpine are very, very fast. And we try to get the move this that day, my dick to Albon. You know, do it on the inside while they turn. But Old Ton, you know, still managed quite well. And I like, wanted to dive down on the inside. But there was just no room, so I'd be like, okay, be patient. And the lap 14, we've gotten damage on a spanel turn with the uh, front wing damage. But he went over the turb and he was so slow when they come out of it. And I was so much more Twitter to so one back of him. And I got uh, a policy, which is the certain policy. And that was because that is the track limit. And that's only the only reason on that is because I've got broken wind and I should even control it. So I've okay, unfortunately, it on, does seem like the race is the over for me. So I'm going to be finished P20. But you know, while all things happen, as we know, we witnessed it that in lap 5 and lap 9, when we had um, double lap flat. So we can get lucky or something with it. And we actually, you know, overtook top of tar, because they went into the pit. So they were rather than stop tire, well, I'm not quite sure they did. But, um, we overtook them in the pit. I'm going to be chasing that for Mr. Free, Carlos Sire, Porsche, Starshin, and I'm going to take the double overtake with Mr. Free and Carlos Sire. I was committed of wanting to get up to the field as fast as I can and just hope for the safety of the car, work for that at the end, where I can put a new set of tyre. And we've got Theo missing his sluggering to try to get the move on loads and stars and the stars and they've done absolutely fantastic defending for P14. But I was like, that move I've done recently was really good. So I'm going to try to see if I can overtake Theo. I wanted him to move out of the way, but it's just so slow. It didn't even live as he ran into my tar into my front wing and we made a contact. Unfortunately, I've got a bloody broken wing again. I have to go into the pit, put on a new wind on, stop tire on, and head straight back out there. And I'm just pissed because it wasn't Theo to the back of the way. He took the back of the way, but instead, the back of the way, he just started to stay in. I was like, the hell, man. But we on board, we still to pull up and declare in lap 28. So it's nearly time for the final lap and Pellet had the move done on Charles, it's hate P1, it's all for that they are actually fighting against each other for P2, which is I think they are tired on point and not quite sure. So the doors be fighting for P1 and also Miss Day they also fighting with the red ball for two slots and standing P1. So we got Max P6 but Pellet P1, Hamilton P7 short loss of P9 so who do we get on top at the end of the day that's what you see and we got Leclerc with the DL there trying to catch up to Sturgeo Pelle and he just seemed to not be able to get closer to Pelle and we don't allow to like to get into Stutter 2 but another DL that again can we get the move done in this Stutter 2 but it is very crucial to the final lap Pellet need to get the overtake, um, Charles need to overtake done. And we on board with Old Ton, get the move on Lando Nolly. He get up the P3 at Land, uh, Old Ton, now on the inside. Can he get the DL? He also did get the DL. And he's just bare minimum of it. Got the DL. He also got the move done on Lando for P3. 
and turn at the claw. Get powered in this last top of toil. I don't think he can do it. It is still a bit of like four button off. Still a point four off. And we got Pella coming home at P1 in Abu Dhabi. And Charles Leclerc coming to P2. And Lando unfortunately locked the position to Oton in the, in the la last lap to two. And Oton coming home P3. Lando P4. And it was really like. It was entertaining for for the fan, but uh, it fighting for P2, not P1, not P3, it's P2, what they completed for his level standing, and they couldn't slot him standing. I, I didn't do the map just yet, because I wanted to make sure I got the map, map to let me when we get into uh, the stand. It's been a roller coaster season, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. To Steve Pella in our P1, Leclerc P2, Oton to the Oton P3, so really quickly for them, but I know it's how we stand at the podium. No feeling. Push, but he knew he should have defended that position properly, but he couldn't. He did the not board or absolutely locked his ship. Although they didn't win a championship or anything, but they still were a lot his ship. It's just Hamilton is just absolutely the best driver in the world, which he always goes to be. So, in, as you see, Max P6, Pellas P1, so that in total is. 32, I think, and then we got um, Nubit P7, George P9, which B8 point, and I finished P19, so I overtook Tarlo, and then, um, so Sergio, it, P2, and I tell P3, so they are, what, 9 points off, and that ball has got 4 points off, up the day, the short mat moved up one more position. Not actually moved up P4, he would have got it, or Hamilton moved down. Matt moved up, it would still have got it, I think. It was fairly close, but unfortunately, he wasn't enough for Red Bull to get that uh, P1. So, mistake is one to slot in standing, and another time I'm the world champion, and he joins the tire this season. So, I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to see you instead and the it's going to be a bit one, I think I'm gonna step up big time. So thank you for watching, please like, dislike, turn the potato bell on and peace out.